figure out, we gotta figure out that it looks good with this paper. This would go really good with this paper. Mm, it's gonna be covered up mostly. Let's see if I can find something else. That. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get um, regular craft paper to put it on. Okay, so I just went and grabbed some of this to make those tags with. <sighs> Alright, she Okay, so ruler. Let's make these tags about. Once you want them 4 by 4 we're going to make the little flip thing with it. So we'll do 4 and 3 eighths by 4. 4 and 3 eighths. And then we just need these 4. around it. Let me check on it. Come on. Yep, they were rounded. Rounded corners. Oh yeah. I chose the half inch one. Okay, and then for the papers on the inside. So 
they're four by four, we want them a little bit less than that. So let's do four and a or three and three quarters. by three and three quarters. And three and three quarters by three and three quarters. And quarter inch on both sides. And this last one. A lot of inking. basically going to ink all of the edges on the signatures and on the um, paper background papers and pretty much all the tags too so it's gonna be a lot of inking probably just do a little bit to show you, but then, um, yeah, I forgot again. Oh no, wait, I remember, okay. So,
Is that fine? <laughs> I don't know about that. Luckily, this is the same size, so let's just cut that. Same size, right? Yep, I just need to cut the this way. quarters that way and then to don't do it backwards again Cindy <laughs> gonna do it all the way to the edge because then it would like not want to close properly so pretty much almost to the edge but not really wrong this one that I gotta switch them up
That looks like almost a disaster. like when I mess up you guys can see how I fix it <laughs> right there we go all right so we're gonna take a break and then we'll be right back in a jiffy bye, -bye. all right so we put these in and now we need to make the little a uh, flap that goes on this side. So I have this left over here. Let's see. I don't want it bigger. I think I want it this size. Let's do this. It's already like perfectly, almost perfectly done. three quarters and then we'll add the three eighths for the attaching so we have five and three quarters plus three eighths I just have this little piece three quarters yet and this is by eight and a half nice so we'll just take a quarter off of each side so five and a half oh, I'm gonna cut this way first eight and a half okay, so eight and a quarter Do the back too. <laughs> so the back is 
I had to pull another sheet of this out because this is the back of it. So, you want this to be eight and, uh, what was it again? Eight and a quarter. Tall. By eight or five and a half, I believe it was. back so I need to push this side. Don't want to make that mistake again, right? <laughs> I'm using walnut stain, which is up here, so that's what I'm using. <laughs> it's usually my go-to. what this thing is it's called an ATG gun advanced tape glider from Scotch and this was before I boycotted 3M products so <laughs> it's an old gun I'm sure if you follow my videos you know that I've had this gun for a very long time, years and years and years. Um, and I get, I used to buy the tape at uh, Michael's, but I buy the tape on Etsy now because it's um, less expensive. I get probably like Oh, I can't remember, but I get a box full for like 20 bucks, I think. And I think there's like 10 or 15 in there, so. This is gonna go this side, so we need to take this side. Mm -hmm. 
as my uh, nail file thingy comes today, I'm taking my nails off. Or not file thing, the dust collector. I just did this wrong, didn't I? Yep, I totally did. Well then, let's put one of these sticker things back on here. Just use that to stick the paper on. <laughs> right. Round two. So I've been working with this uh, migraine for couple days now, like three days, so it's been pretty hard to concentrate, so I might mess up a lot, but at least we can fix it, right? Alright, so we are going to put this right at the end there. because we want it to fold nicely, like so. That look great. Yeah, it looks good. And then we'll give it a good varnish down. Put the page back on. There's that. And then the file folder one. So this is gonna be a tricky one. Five pocket file folder. We have one, two, let me see how much room do we have on the back here. When we put it in the book. Okay, we got it in the book here. Room does we get? Not really a lot of room. Okay. So we have a lot of room in the inside, so we'll we're going to have do it on the inside. Alright. So we're going to need a couple of pages now. I don't know if any of these are big. That's big enough. That is not. That is, oh, but I like the outside so pretty. This is big enough. Okay, we got two that are big enough. And this is one, two, three, four, five. We need two more. doesn't matter which one we put in there. I just want one that doesn't have a lot of the sticky stuff on it. Let's see if we can find something with no sticky stuff. Or the least amount. Remember, I know we can do two out of one, so let's go with this for now.
we are going to need our templates for signature. Alright, so it's going to be on this side, so we got to make sure that the decorate, decorative side is on the inside. So, it's going to be like this. So we're not flipping it over. See what I did? It matches this side, so I want this to be the front. So it'll be like that. And then um, we're gonna do that for four of them. actually keep these on the this these sides on there and just use that as a folding and just cut the top off that one Less work. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go check on the kids real quick. Okay, we're back. When the kids get quiet, you know, you just gotta check things out. <laughs> All right. Cut this out, and I'm not gonna cut the edge because um, then we can not have to mess with. Putting another, whatchamacallit on it, uh, thingy, to glue it together, or to put it together, you know. You know?
I'm getting that um that nail dust collector because I also um have started doing like wood carving with a Dremel tool because of the wand situation that uh, I'm making. So that will also do the trick as well with that. So if you guys want to want me to show you that nail dust collector, just let me know and I can uh, go ahead and show you that. Oh, that's the front. I was like, why does that pop out? <laughs> so we got to put this on the inside over here. Take this off. So we got to put it on the inside there. So let's start with, let's see, we'd have one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. All right. I'm going to get, what do I need? We used all of our cab thingy, or the things to glue it with, so we have to make more of those. So I'm going to need my big, oh, everything's always falling. Ah. Alright. I need this. I'm going to do three eighths and three eighths. Three eighths plus three eighths is um, three quarters. So we're going to do three quarter sections. Let's do two of them and then see how we like it because we were doing one inch ones before. Um, I don't want to commit if we don't like it. So let's try that. the slip the harder it is to maneuver with my fingers because of the nails but figure it out right some uh, room to like go in and out if you don't put it all the way at the, the uh, folded edge. More closer to the cut edge. You want the tape out. Ugh. So you see you want it closer to the cut edge than you want it to the fold edge. So the other one.
right, let's check. Um, let's do this one. Onto this. Lining it up with the edge. We need the bottoms. We'll get the to the bottoms after. So we need three first. Three quarters of an inch. the bottom parts if we need.
So now we're just going to fold these in half like we did with the other ones and then put tape on it. And I'm going to do this off camera so you guys aren't that bored <laughs> with me doing this. So we'll be right back. Alright, we're back. So we got three of these and then four of these. I decided to cut these. Um, I just counted how many I needed and then just um, measured it with the one that we already cut. This one. Um, and then I just matched it up and scored it and put the tape on there. So you see me do that. So let's move on. I mean, you've seen me do that before anyway. All right, so we're gonna put one of these on the bottom here. If you want to, we can, whoopsie daisies. We can angle these. They lay better when you do. Come on. these together first and then we'll go and put it on here because that seems like the easiest thing to do. Alright. I'm going to put all the tape stuff on all of them first. Do that. Hinges. That's what we'll call these. Hinges. <laughs> me measure twice cut once and don't always do it but I try to <laughs> when I remember Bottom, that bottom, yep. 
if this is going to need a bottom. Let's cut it off first. So, I um, decided to not try not to do laundry in the background because <laughs> it does get really loud in the videos. Um, it didn't really bother me, but I could see how it would bother some people. So I decided to just take it off. Or not try not to do the laundry during my videos. It's really dry down here in the basement. I'm going to wind 
up the bottom first. And just hope that it works out. Tuck it in there, smooth it out, go in with your, <clears throat> you also use this one and go inside and kind of flatten it out too, or adhere I mean the tape to the edges there. So now we have our in there. <clears throat> this one should be easier. I'm going to cut this corner here. Let's well cut this corner. down with my fingers and then line them up 